The trisonic wind tunnel has capability of three speed ranges. That's why it's called trisonic. It operates subsonic, transonic, and supersonic. The entire speed range covers Mach 0.1 to Mach 3.5. You ride on it, and, and you can watch the steel. Just it looks like wet spaghetti. You know, it's incredible. This is the area uh, downstream of the nozzle, uh, downstream of the valve, before you get to the nozzle, where the where the airflow is straightened out and smooth. So, uh, in this area, the, the air is moving relatively very slowly. And it runs through these mesh screens that, that uh, smooth out all the perturbations, all the, all the turbulence. And then it accelerates very rapidly into this area. And then, uh, if it's going supersonic, it reaches the speed of sound where the where it necks right down to the minimum there. Okay. And then, as it expands again, it, it just keeps going faster and faster. To um, contour the surfaces very very accurately what you what you're doing is it's like similar to trying to make water flow uphill oh. but if if you have that precise curvature the air will expand and keep accelerating 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 and um, that's what the ancient ones figured out oh um, we we think the original designers were influenced by naval architects because all the heavy plant is all well below grade and and distributed along the center line of the tunnel as you would build a ship you, you put all the heavy equipment on the keel but for a facility like this it's always been a problem because getting heavy machinery out of these underground rooms for maintenance has been a big headache